Green. We're live. Hey everybody, <laughs> this is Boomy Moore here with the awesome T. Lamont Silver. And I'm here to announce that I have added into my portfolio Go Fun Places. And I'm so excited about it. Thank you, T. Lamont, for uh, sharing this with me. Um, as many of you uh, know that I have a traditional network marketing company already in my portfolio, but the profit-sharing profit model, the revenue-sharing model is something I got a taste of, and I said I am always going to have this model in my portfolio. It just makes sense. And so, T. Lamont, you know, we're out here at the home offices of E-Ad Gear and Go Fun Places, and uh, I just want you to share with the audience, you know, what you see about the revenue-sharing model that has you really excited about this opportunity? Well, Boomy, when, when you have Joe Average or Susie Average, the person that's not really good at recruiting or sponsoring, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's, that's been our challenge. Boomy, you've built large teams of thousands. I've built large teams of thousands. I've been on your team yeah. uh, uh, with, with, in traditional um, uh, MLM. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were good at firing up the troops. We were good at doing the presentation. We were good at doing all the stuff that's required to build an organization. Mm -hmm. But the overwhelming majority of our teammates that, that wasn't their skill set. That's right. So you would have Joe Average join us, you'd have Susie Average join us. They do everything that we taught them to do, but that just wasn't their skill set. And in many cases, they never made any money. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, what we saw when we embraced a revenue sharing model prior to GoFund Places, we saw Joe Average making money every day. Every day. All right? He did just a little bit. Uh, he had, he had, a, had a little performance, but he was able to make money every day. Susie Average was able to make money every day. And what happened, Boomy, is you know, well, we had built teams over years and years and years. All of a sudden, in a few short months, you know, we had, uh, I remember we had about 6,000 folks on our team in about eight months uh, with that particular company. And then about eight months after that, we were over, well over a quarter of a million. And we, we, we finally had like 400,000 folks on our team. And why? Because Joe Average was able to make money. Susie Average was able to make money. I like to tell the story of a buddy of mine named Ramondo. Ramondo hadn't recruited any affiliates, but Ramondo was making a very hefty income on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. Now he had to do a little something, but he, he hadn't started recruiting affiliates or, or a young lady named Lynn. Um, as a matter of fact, there were some people who knew Lynn from a previous experience, and I would say, hey, do you know Lynn? You know Lynn, right? Well, Lynn's making money, they're like, well, well, I'm in. Well, I'm in, right? Lynn's making okay. money, I'm in. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. That previous model, ran into some challenges from a regulatory standpoint. But you don't throw off the baby with the bathwater. That's right. Okay? Because years ago, uh, regulators didn't care too much for the binary compensation model. Mm -hmm. And if you had a company that had a binary, you were going to have some regulatory issues. Mm -hmm. But you don't throw off the baby with the bathwater. See, here's how this works, Boomy. You'll have, you'll have MLM attorneys, you know, Gerald Nero, Jeffrey Babner, uh, uh, Kevin Thompson, Kevin Grimes, these are some of the top that are out there. Mm -hmm. But they will tend to have a network of consultants that they work with. So like uh, we were once a, a part owner of a network marketing company and we had Jeffrey Babner was our attorney. Well Jeffrey Babner sends us to uh, a marketing consultant. See the attorney is there from a legal standpoint, but he's not going to draw up your compensation plan and help you define your story and, and get that out into the marketplace. That's what the marketing consultant's for. Mm -hmm. But the marketing consultant's not going to be there you know, to represent you in the court of law when you start dealing with regulators. So, but, but there's a small fraternity and they, they tend to network with each other. Mm -hmm. okay? So what, what happened is the attorneys and the marketing consultants started getting together, comparing notes, saying, what is it that the regulators don't like about binaries? And once they started putting those notes together, they didn't throw the binary compensation model out. They just simply made some modifications that now we see companies like USANA has stood the test of time with that binary model. And now, you know, Mona V, mm -hmm. binary model. I, and, and now a lot of new companies, last five, six years, it seems like almost every new company in the nutritional space had some type of binary. Absolutely. So I believe, Booming, somebody is going to get this revenue sharing compensation plan right. And I believe it is Go, go Fun, fun places. places. And listen, I don't want to be the person mm -hmm. who's not there That's right. when the company gets it right. Oh, matter of fact, I want to be there. And I, 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 I want to help put my fingerprint on, mm -hmm. you know, giving suggestions of what we saw that worked and what we saw that didn't work uh, uh, so that we can have a model that's, that's long-lasting. And I'm going to tell you, here's the thing. 
without our, with our previous experience, if we just would have had more customers, mm -hmm. if we would have had a product where customers outside of the, the compensation model would have said, man, I love this product, we, I mean, we would have been fine. You add travel, you add, you add saving hundreds of dollars on a, on a condo vacation or a cruise, or you, you add you be, being able to go into a lifestyle mall and, and, and save 15, 20, 30 percent maybe on, on some products that you would normally buy anyway. Oh my gosh. Mm. All the, all, so there's going to be plenty of consumer activity not related to the compensation model. And if you thought that model that you were, and I were speaking of was something special, they've taken it to a whole new level. So those of you that were part of a revenue sharing model, you made some good money and it, and it stopped abruptly. <laughs> if you could see. Yes. Woo. If, oh my heavens. The people Listen, are working, so I gotta stop. This, this is what has happened. Go fun places with Mike Drigger, with what's Randall's last name? Uh, Randall Williams. Williams. Randall, Randall Williams. Williams. They've taken the revenue sharing model, they've perfected it. They've put it in place so that we can have longevity here. Exactly. That's what people want. When you have an income built, you don't want to lose it. Right. When you come to go fun places, I believe what we have now is going to be built to last. It is built to last. So we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to oh, have a lot fun. of fun. We're going to go fun places. Yeah, we're going to help people. Cruises. Absolutely. People who haven't been able to travel, we're going to help them to travel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, uh -oh. Who's Here's the guy. Williams. Come here. Come here. Come here. Awesome. We're, so we're so happy to have him at the helm for leadership, guys. So, um, and leadership is everything in this industry. So, you, if you join my team, I'm part of the team here with uh, T. Lamont Silver and some other awesome leaders. So, give me a call 443-864-9440 or go to GoFundPlacesWithBoomi.com and Boomi is spelled B-U-N as in Nancy, M as in Mary I. GoFundPlacesWithBoomi.com and we will see you at the bank. Bank, there you go. <laughs> there we go.